there are a lot of holsters on this table. A lot of holsters. We've got leather holsters. We have Tidex holsters. We've got retention holsters, like this Safari Land. We've got a bunch of holsters out here. And I have done or will do videos on all these holsters, but in this video, I wanna talk about this little trigger guard holster. It's the Raven Concealment Vanguard 2. And it is an awesome little product. It does something that none of these other holsters do. It is a universal holster for the Glock double stacked handgun. So it'll fit your Glock 10 millimeter handgun or 45 because the dimensions here on the trigger are the same for the double stack 45s, 10 mils, as well as the double stack 9 millimeters, 40s, and 357 SIG. So it snaps right on there. Here's my Glock 26, snaps right on and is a very tight, secure fit. Here's a Glock 19 with a light on it. Not gonna work. But if I took the light off, it would work just fine with it. And Raven has a holster that's similar to this one that will accept a gun that has a light on it. Here's my Glock 19 with a Trichicon RMR mounted on it. Here's the deal with this. I haven't heard people talk about this and maybe this is just something you should know, but most of these holsters that I've purchased over the years will not fit my Glock when it has an RMR on it. But the Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 does. How awesome is that? What this particular model won't do is it won't work on your Glock 43 or your 43X or your 42. They have a different model that fits those. They've got them for the Smith & Wesson family of handguns as well as other um, handguns. What I like about the Vanguard 2 from Raven Concealment is that in this configuration it fits my 10 mil, my Glock 19s, and my Glock 26. So it's a holster that if I have this one holster, I can use it with all these guns. Now, if I'm honest with you, the way I have used this little Vanguard 2 holster for most of the time I've had it, and I've had it for three years, three and a half years, is I've used it with the included little uh, lanyard, okay? So you take off the little strut here and the RCS claw, and you just run this little string through these two holes that are there. And I've ran it in this Hill People gear kit bag. So what I've done is I have then corded or tied the Vanguard 2 little lanyard kit system into this so that I could put my pistol with a round in the chamber. I could lock my pistol into the Vanguard 2, zip this thing up when I'm jogging, hiking, riding a quad, doing all kinds of things, and then I can just pull this down and draw the gun out, and the holster pops off, and now I'm ready to go, and I don't have to worry about something getting into that trigger guard and discharging the gun. I also don't have to worry about drawing the gun, getting it out of the whole chest rig system, and then racking it to be able to bring it into use. So that's how I've primarily used this uh, Vanguard 2 holster over the last uh, three, three and a half years. The Vanguard 2 holster has become more valuable and interesting to me over the last month or so because I mounted this Trigicon RMR on my Glock 19. And I quickly discovered that most of my holsters would not work with this gun in this configuration. So for instance, here is a Blade Tech holster that I've liked and worn and used a lot. It's an older version. I don't know, I've had this for four or five years, I think. And it's a great holster. I thought, well, I'll just dremel it out a little bit. They even make a holster like that where it's cut for the RMR. Here's the problem. I've mounted excess big dot suppressor height sights, so I have backup iron sights that I can use in this handgun. What that means is I cannot stick this gun in a holster that is not designed for suppressor height sights. So it's not just the RMR. For instance, here in this Galco uh, Fletch High Ride holster that's designed for the Glock 19, it works just fine. The leather has molded itself to the raised higher 
front sight. And it's cut here like so in a way that allows it to accept the RMR. Now, they didn't do that to accept the RMR. This is an older version of a holster. It just so happened that it worked this way. I believe that cut originally is there so that your gun clears the holster faster rather than having to come up further. Once you get there, you can just draw it out. But it works really well. So I was really happy to see that I have one of my preferred outside the waistband holster options, uh, the uh, Galco Fletch High Ride Holster. Uh, just as a great holster. I was really happy that this worked with the RMR, but these other holsters don't. This Safari Land holster, which I really like, does not work with the Trigicon RMR or the raised uh, sights. So the Vanguard 2 became more valuable and interesting to me because I decided I would employ it and use it while I waited to uh, have other holsters arrive that will work with the RMR. One thing I want to point out here is that I don't really like the Vanguard 2 as an inside the waistband holster on the 10 millimeter family of Glocks. I haven't tried it on the 45 caliber family of Glocks, but I think that the same problem would be there. These are just bigger, heavier guns. And when I stick this into my pants, I don't have a problem with the 19 or the 26. Those are very comfortable. But when I stick the 10 mil down into my pants with a fully loaded 15 round mag, it's just a lot heavier and it's more cumbersome. Can I do it? You better believe it. Is it safe? You better believe it. But that one little strap, uh, you know, is a great strap and it's got the single directional pull on it there. Okay, so I'll show that to you. you snap it on and it can't be pulled off this way. You have to unpop it there. You have to pop it from the top. Okay, it's a great system. That strut is, is stiff enough. It's fine. The problem is the overall weight of the gun it's just a big gun, and I wouldn't appendix carry this size of a gun to begin with. So when I'm running my 10 mil, I'm either running it in the case, in the Hill People Gear kit bag with this little Vanguard uh, 2 with the dummy cord attached, or I'm running it in something like this uh, NSR holster that just does a better job of stabilizing the gun against my body. It just gives more rigidity. So that's one area uh, I would I would probably not recommend the Vanguard 2 if you're primarily going to run full-size 10 millimeter or 45 caliber handguns, but it would give you another option, and it's a cheap way of playing around with appendix carry. You know, I don't know of an appendix carry holster that you can get shipped to your house for under 50 bucks or close to 50 bucks um, that is as simple and and uh, universal as this one. And there may be other technology out there that I just don't know about or haven't come across. I actually really like this little claw system and I think that it is a good addition. So if you're gonna buy this holster primarily with the strut for inside the waistband carry appendix or strong side, I would definitely pay the additional $15 or so, $10, $15, and get this little uh, stabilizer claw. What it does is your belt comes through this loop and then it pushes against this and it forces the butt of the handgun so if you're if we're wearing this appendix carry style right-handed the belt comes through here like this and it forces the pistol back against your body so rather than st sticking out in a pronounced way out of your shirt it pulls the gun back across against your body and it makes the gun more concealable and actually more comfortable so you should get that little uh that little claw system and it's it's worth the money and i would recommend that you get that so if you get it with just the Vanguard 2, the little um, trigger guard holster part, with the lanyard kit, it's 20 bucks. That's pretty affordable. If you get it with the basic kit, which is just this strut right there and the soft loop minus this little claw thing, it's $35. And if you get this little claw thing and it comes with a right-handed and a left-handed claw, so you could use this right or left-handed, then, then it costs 45 bucks. So you've got a spread there in terms of the cost, but it seems relatively affordable. I think I paid way more than $45 for any one of the other holsters that you guys see here on this table. I want to demonstrate how I use the Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 holster. So we're transitioning now to some live fire drills and demonstration. And I'm going to be a little bit redundant here in some of the points that I make and cover. I've included this because I think you'll actually end up finding it useful. One of the things you learn when you purchase a red dot sight and have a slide machined to take it is that suddenly a bunch of your holsters don't work. Holsters that you really liked. 
And so until recently, this Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 holster had not been that important or valuable to me because although I love the idea of appendix carry, I always find that it's very uncomfortable for me. But what I found is I purchased this Brownell slide, mounted the Trijicon RMR on it, and then all of a sudden, most of my holsters for this gun no longer worked. And so the Raven Concealment Vanguard 2 holster suddenly had new value and meaning. So I can slide it on like so. This is not a holster that you reholster. Uh, in order to reholster your gun into this holster, you don't just jam it down into your pants. You're going to unsnap it and attach it to the gun in front of you paying attention. If you jam that in, the chances of uh, the gun going off and you damaging, whether you're carrying appendix carry or the, uh, strong side carry, you're gonna shoot yourself eventually. So we shoot, we draw from the holster, we shoot, and then we take the holster off and put it on. So I'm just gonna demo that here for you on this steel target. The Vanguard 2 will work on any of the double stacked Glock pistols. Okay, so it'll work on the Glock 26, your Glock 19, your 17, any of the 40 calibers, 40 Smith & Wesson caliber, 357 SIG calibers, and it will even go on the 10 millimeter and 45, the larger framed pistols because the, uh, the trigger guard is basically the same or identical on all of these. It's not gonna fit. This model's not going to fit the uh, 43X or the 43, but they have a version that does do that. So it's a universal holster. I really like that. So I can do the same thing that I just did there with my Glock 19 with the RMR on it. I can use this holster here as well for my Glock 26, and I really like that. If you're wondering, I would highly recommend the Vanguard 2 from Raven Concealment. I think it's an excellent minimalist holster. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. My goal here at the Gear Tester YouTube channel is to produce quality video reviews on the topics of shooting, camping, and survival gear. I hope that that's what I did in this video. If you liked this content, I would encourage you to support our sponsors, affiliates, and friends. Companies like Occam Defense Solutions, Firebox Stoves, Valley Food Storage, and Excess Sites. If you'd like to support the Gear Tester YouTube channel directly, we have a Patreon account, and a link to our Patreon account will be in the description of this video. Thank you very much for your views and your subscriptions. This is the Gear Tester, signing off.